Uh, first of all, let me tell you that uh, I came to this country in 1948, and uh, contrary to the objections that my extended family had, and uh, the reason they had objections is that uh, my extended family consist, uh, had very many professors <coughs> at the Athens Polytechnic, and all of them uh, studied in Europe. They studied in uh, France, Ecole Polytechnique, in, in Berlin, uh, the Hochschule, uh, in England, but uh, they never heard of anybody studying in America. And, uh, so they start telling me, why do you want to go to America to uh, get, because I had just received a very uh, uh, rich uh, a scholarship. And, uh, and I didn't tell them the reason, because I knew that if I had told them the reason, they may not have let me go. I said, well, you know, I, I read a lot about MIT and so on and so forth. And, uh, and so I finally got my way. But the reason I came is that I wanted to build a company, as you mentioned. And uh, I had studied, and I, I wanted to decide which country I want to build it in. And, uh, and I, you know, during the German occupation of Greece, I was, the year was 1942, we didn't have much school because there were killings, there were executions, there were people dying in the street and so on. So we had a week of uh, classes and then the, the high school was shut down for three weeks. In 42, in fact, uh, I doubt that we had for the whole year, we had more than uh, uh, eight weeks of classes. Uh, so with that, I was going free to go to the library, and I just, my objective was to find what country I want to go to uh, build my company. And uh, there was no question that it would be in the United States. And so when I came here, I really was completely, I uh, couldn't believe it because it was beyond any expectations I had in terms of, for, first of all, the, uh, uh, the culture, uh, the, uh, the environment, uh, the, uh, the entrepreneurship, uh, the uh, and MIT, of course. I came to Boston and, and, uh, at MIT in Boston, and it was unbelievable the, uh, the culture that was around and coupled not only with pursuit of uh, knowledge of greatest degree, but also uh, in pursuit of uh, uh, putting that knowledge to help people. And so I fell in love with, uh, with Boston in spite that uh, I was very cold that uh, first winter. She's uh, traveling in Canada. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, uh, and, uh, and of course, the f last thing that I must say, tell you is that the, f the friendship that was given to me around Boston, in MIT in particular, I thought that the Greeks are very uh, friendly people and hospitable. But the hospitality I found here at MIT, I never thought existed anywhere in the world. So I'm very happy.